Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Kelsey Hutchings and I'm owner of Elska Beauty, which is a cute little salon here in Hampshire. Now today I'm doing a video all on my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lip collection. It's just gonna do a swatch video for you guys. Um, it does include quite a few of the older colours, but I was looking at my lipstick collection the other day, which is ridiculous because I've got too many girl problems. Um, and I thought if I'm gonna try on all these colours, because I thought I need to know what I've got, I thought May as well do it in front of the camera and show you guys as well. Um, I've got some of the older colours and I have got some of the newer colours as well. So please enjoy and maybe you can treat yourself to a new lipstick at the end of it. Um, yeah, so if you'd like to see some of the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks, new and old, carry on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start with the nudiest one first. Now I'm, I am a bit ashamed to say that I've some of these I've had for quite a while and I've never actually tried on. So this will be a first for me and possibly for you too. Um, yeah, I know these have been out for, some of them have been out for a few years and some of them are from the newer collection that they released um, just before Christmas last year. Um, but thought it'd be a good time for me to try them on. I thought I may as well do it on camera so you guys can have a look too. So, this one's been out in quite a while but it's called Pure Hollywood. Um, it is really nudie so I'm a bit nervous to see what it's like on me. But let's have a look. I do think with some of the newer ones, the, um, the older ones, sorry, that they are a bit like moosier, <laughs> the, the, how, like, how they feel on your lips. I do think with some of the newer ones, the, um, the older ones, sorry, that they are a bit like moosier, <laughs> the, the, how, like, how they feel on your lips. Okay, so this one is a little bit concealery on the lips maybe? No, I do quite like it. I'm just a little bit scared of nudes because sometimes I'm worried that they're going to be like a bit concealery, if that makes sense, and that's not really the look we're going for. Um, do you remember when you used to do that at school? And I used to think it was cool, I just... No, mind you, I still see people like that now and it still looks just as awful. But I don't actually mind it. Maybe I will start wearing it. Um, but yeah, it is, it is rather nude. Next up we have Dulce, Dulce, however you want to say it. It is like a peachy, pinky kind of nude. I have worn this one before and I do actually really like it. And it makes your teeth look super white too. <laughs> So I do actually really like this one and with most people how they always wear nude and that they're scared of bright, I'm the other way around. I love wearing bright lipstick and I'm a little bit nervous of the nudier colours. So this one I feel like is quite a good mix for me because it is like a nudier colour um, but it is slightly brighter. It's more of like a corally colour I would say. It's really pretty and I think it'll be awesome for summer. <laughs> so the one I've got on now is called Ashton. I always want to call it Ashton or Ash... Ah, Ashton. My eyes are so bad today I swear I need to book another eye test. But this one, as you can see, is like a orangey or deep, like orangey autumnal brownie kind of colour. Um, it's quite hard to describe all these colours, which I actually love, because that makes them really different and unique. Um, but yeah, I do quite like this colour, I think. I've seen quite a few tutorials of people using like brownie, orangey colours. Um, but I'm a, bit, I'm a bit scared of them, but I do actually quite like this one. I think I need to branch out. Get a bit more uh, adventurous with my lipstick colours maybe, stop wearing such bright colours and maybe using more nudier ones. <laughs> had to stop halfway through because I had to take Milo to his vet's appointment, Milo being my dog, and now I'm really hungry, so now I'm eating a Freddo. Why not? It's Valentine's Day. It's one of them popping candy ones. <laughs> I can hear it. Anyway, I'm going to stop being such a kid now and try on my lipsticks. Just taken that one off and I've only put on three and take, obviously taken them off three times and my lips are already burning. <laughs> they have such good staying power, the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones. If you put them on and two minutes later taking them back off again, your, hi your hips, your lips aren't loving life. Anyway, moving on to slightly more pinkier ones now. I've got this one, it's called Soft Lilac and I'll show you what it looks like. Application is getting slightly worse with each one, I swear. Um, but this, yeah, this one is... The soft lilac. I love this one. I've worn it a few times. Um, but I think it's quite good to wear in daytime and you could wear it at night if you're not used to. If you usually wear nudier kind of shades so it'd be a bit daring for you. But um, I usually wear it during the day and I absolutely love it. It's a really flattering colour. Again I can't really describe it. It's like a pinky slightly purpley kind of colour but yeah it is really flat though and I think it would suit most people. Most of my collection of Anastasia Beverly Hills lipsticks are in the pinks or reds, as you'll probably notice. But let's um, move on through. 
Okay, so this one is called Catnip, which is a little bit of a weird name for lipstick, but there we go. Now this is a slightly darker version of uh, Soft Lilac, I think. I've got a few colours that I think look quite similar, um, but actually when you hold them up against each other, a bit like all my gel colours, um, they're actually quite different. So these two is Soft Lilac and Catnip together. Is that going to focus? So this one is Soft Lilac and that one being Catnip. Um, so as you can see, when you put them up together, they are actually... Ah, the reflection. Yeah, they are actually quite different. See, catnip is a little bit darker, a little bit bolder. I would say slightly more on the purple side, I think. Um, again, I've had this one for quite a while. I have got some new ones coming up um, that I only got a month or so ago, and others I have worn quite a few times and are my favourite. My lipstick collection is mental. Out of all the makeup that I've got, I've definitely got most lipsticks. It's a bit insane, but there you go. Girl can never have too many lipsticks, can she? Right, let's move on to the slightly darker colour. And please don't go judging me on my, on my application as this video goes on, because it's quite hard to keep putting lipsticks on and off. I can understand what um, Shannon XO on her YouTube channel means now when she does a lip swatch, swatch, lip, oh my God, lipstick swatch videos. That's not easy to say. Now, the one I've got on now is called Craft, which is a darker, much bolder pink, I would say, especially when you hold it up against catnip. It's definitely the one on the right. It's the one that's slightly darker, definitely bolder, more of a night out shade or if you're like wearing bright lipsticks like me, um, wear it during the day as well. I've done that quite a few times. So it's quite nice to have a pop of colour sometimes. I don't know if this one is actually going to come up properly on the camera. It's called Dusty Rose, which is one of the slightly newer colours. Um, I got it for Christmas. I've wanted it for ages and it is right up there with my favourite kind of tones and shades that I like to wear for every day. So I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, it's just like a, pl a movie kind of colour really, but I do really like it and it's what, <laughs> I've probably got about 60 million shades that are similar, but I don't care, because um, I love it. But you can tell it's one of the newer ones, just because the formula is lighter and it's not as moussey. I think, I don't know if they've officially changed formula, but I've got ones from like day one, which is like their first release like a few years ago, like Pure Hollywood, which as I said was a bit moussier. Um, and this one's a lot smoother, more liquidy, as the liquid lipsticks go. Oh my god, keep still. Um, yeah, but like the applicator is like straight, whereas like, it's like that, and whereas on the older ones it's all slanted. I can't really say I've got a preference, it's just something that I've noticed within my millions of these that I've got. <laughs> right, let's move on to the next one, shall we? Just keep zooming you in and out, don't I? Just don't know what angle you're gonna get next. <laughs> Okay, so this one is one of the older colours, but I've wanted it forever. Um, it's called Veronica, and again, it is quite similar to other colours, but girls, you know the drill. You can have three million different one shades of lipstick, and you know that they're all different to you. So, this one, like I said, is called Veronica. It is quite similar-ish to Dusty Rose. You see that there? But it is, it is darker, and more of like a brownie tone to it, I think. My god, please don't judge my application, but it's well enough for you guys to see the colour. Honestly, it's so hard getting these lipsticks off, which I know is a good thing, but not when you're doing a lip swatch video, it's not. I'm back here, like, scrubbing with baby wipes. Um, yeah, really, really like this colour. Really like it. Um, I haven't worn it yet, which, like I said, I'm a bit ashamed to say, but I do really like it. Um, and I think I would add it to the colours that I would wear every day, just um, if I fancy a slightly darker, plummy, mauvey kind of colour, um, then yeah, I would definitely reach out for this one. Love it! Oh, this is probably going to be a massive shock to you, but I love this colour. It is called Catherine, and I've had it for quite a little while, and I've worn it a few times, and um, last time I wore it, actually, a lady stopped me in Asda and was like, oh my god, I love your lip colour, what is it? I always feel a bit of a weirdo saying well, it's Anastasia Beverly Hills, because some people haven't heard of it. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this colour, it's really pretty. It's a slightly more ready pink, I would say, but it's still really wearable. Um, I would say this would suit pretty much anyone, and it's a, quite a good transition colour if you're a bit nervous of brighter colours, because it's slightly more muted. Um, but it is a really beautiful colour, I absolutely love it. And, although, as this is theme throughout this video, I have noticed that it's very similar to the next colour I'm going to try. There we go. So this one is called Catherine, the one, which is the one I've got on now. And this one is called Dazed, which is one of the new colours that came out just before Christmas. Is that going to come up? Um, which, 
shark I absolutely love as well and I will show you that one next. Okay so I love this colour, it's one of the new ones um, when she released like a few, when Norvina or Claudia whatever you know her by um, is yeah it came out just before Christmas when she like released a few random new ones it's called Dazed um, but yeah I absolutely love the colour why aren't you focusing there you go absolutely love the colour it's like a muted burgundy reggie kind of colour like I said it's annoying when you're doing videos like this but I also like the fact that you can't really describe the colours um because it makes them unique and they're really pretty even with the slightly smudged lipstick around my lips where I'm putting on so many um but yeah really really like this if you're slightly nervous of red um this is going to be a really good one to start with I think but <clears throat> Going to be moving on to a couple of brighter colours next before we delve into the reds. Okay, so as you probably noticed, this one is super bright and it's been out for since the first release, I think. But I know, I know, it's really bad. I haven't actually worn it yet, even though, you know, when you just see something and you think, oh my god, that colour looks lash. So I bought it and then I kind of feel like lipsticks are a little bit like shoes. You see them and you think, oh my god, that's amazing. And then you get them home and realise you've got quite a few similar and then you're like, oh. And then you just always wear the ones that you're used to because you're a bit too scared to wear the new ones. That's the long winded story of this one. Um, I love bright lipsticks, but this one scares me a little bit. I think it's because it's more on the neon side. But I think once I put it on, I do get quite used to it. I think a bit like what I've got on now, you just have to keep the rest of your makeup quite neutral and nice and natural, I think. But yes, it's called Sweet Talker, if I haven't already noticed mentioned that and it's like a neon pinky kind of colour um but yeah I do quite like it I just think I need to um when I'm feeling a bit brave I think I just need to go for it and wear it it doesn't make your teeth look quite wet though it's never a bad thing is it right moving on to slightly more ready colours now okay so this one is called electric coral and that's certainly what it is it's like a bright slightly neon red orangey kind of colour um, but I absolutely love it. It's one of my top five favourite lipsticks. That's why I went out and said it. It's one of my top five um, lipsticks. I absolutely love it. Not so much when it's on your teeth though. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this colour. Um, if you're wearing like a slightly, not blander outfit, I can't really think of the word. But if you're feeling like, oh, I want to dress up this outfit a little bit. Um, and I love when you wear like a black outfit or like a white outfit something like that and then wearing a lipstick like this just with like some gold jewellery I just absolutely love it and I think it looks really classy um some people are quite scared of it and a bit like oh that's a bright lipstick when you wear it but do you know what I absolutely love it and as long as you like it doesn't really matter right right more ready ones now so this one as you can see is more of a classic true red this one is called candy apple it has got a slight shine to it as well the other ones are quite matte um, but I remember when this one came out, they were slightly more like sheen, not glittery, but had a bit more like, not as matte basically is what I'm complicated way of trying to say it. Um, yeah, this one's called Candy Apple, definitely more of a true red. I do really like it, just the classic go-to, you want a bright red, then this is the one you'd go for. The next one that I'm going to try is one called Safarin, Saf, Sarafine, I think that's how you say it, I'm not really sure. Um, again kind of similar but not really um saffron is slightly more of like a blood red i would say without trying to sound too creepy um it's slightly darker so i do feel like out of the red colors that i've got i haven't actually got that many that are like really similar like i do of the pinks um i don't know it's, looking at my collection it's pretty obvious that i like wearing pink and red lipstick um but yeah i haven't actually tried saffron on yet because i got it for christmas which i know was like two months away but what am I like? I'm just a bit of a lipstick collector really, aren't I? So, let's try that one on and see what you think. Guys, I've got some news. Fallen in love. <laughs> this one is the first time I've put this one on, the Sarah Fine or whatever the hell you say it one. I absolutely love it. I mean, I know that Candy Apple is more that brighter, like, classic red, but oh my god, I absolutely love this one. Again, please don't judge me on my application. My lips are like burning from removing all of this. Obviously it's worth it. Um, I absolutely love this colour. It's like more of a blood red, which I know sounds really creepy. Um, but yeah, it is more of like a blood red kind of colour. 
but I absolutely love it. It's so nice. I need to bear this in mind next time I go on a night out because I always just grab the Candy Apple um, shade or Heather's, which I'm going to try on for you in a minute. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this colour. I definitely need to bear it in mind in future. And remember that I actually need to try on and put on new lipsticks as I get them. <sighs> right, three more left to go. Apologies if the lighting's really bad today, guys. It's been raining and gloomy all day. I really wanted to get this video filmed, so to quite doing the best I can. Now, going back on what I just said a minute ago on how none of my reds are that similar, um, I would say that this one, current, which I've got on now, um, is quite similar to Saf... Oh, like, this name's just annoying me. Saf... Sa Sarafin. I'll get that right in a minute. It sounds like paraffin. It's just... Anyway, too many beauty terms. So that's them. Now, where is it? what am I doing? Current is this one. And Saffron is, well, obviously they're the one Kelsey. Um, so yeah, you can see how similar they look. They might almost look the same. Um, but on, Current is definitely, shockingly, <laughs> um, a bit more of a berry shade. And I would still say it's darker. Um, but they're actually really similar. I wouldn't say you need both. Um, Current is again one of the new ones that came out just before Christmas, I believe. Um, I'm gonna say that I think I prefer saf um, Saraphin, my god, I'll get it right once. Um, but yeah, obviously I'm still glad I've got both because I'm a lipstick fanatic. Um, but yeah, I think Saraphin, there we go, is the one I think that will stay in my mind the most. Okay, so this one is called Tulip. Um, it is one of the newer ones that came out late last year, I believe. Um, I haven't, this is the first time I've tried it on and I do like it, shock. Um, to you guys and to me a little bit actually, it does look quite, quite, oh, quite a bit, like quite a classic red, but it's still different. If I try and find Candy Apple, oh, there we go. So with Tulip being this one here and this one being Candy Apple, you can see a slight difference, but again on camera, probably not really. Um, but... <laughs> Obviously I like having both. Um, yeah, Tulip is definitely slightly brighter than a classic red, I would say. Um, guessing that's why they called it Tulip. Um, I do really like it, but I wouldn't say you need Candy Apple and Tulip. These are all going to fall off my table in a minute. Um, and do you know what? The more I think about it, when I think back to Sweet Talker, which is like the neon bright pink that I tried on that I wasn't sure of, the more I actually quite like it. Maybe I'll have to be brave soon and try that on. So I've left the best till last. And I'm going about to try on Heather's, which is probably my favourite shade. Is it still? Who knows? <laughs> okay, so here it is. Pretty much my number one favourite lipstick. Well, it certainly has been for pff, about a year, I would say. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Heather's. It is, I think they describe it on the website as like a brownie red kind of colour. Perfect for autumn, apparently, which I suppose it is, but I wear it all year round anyway. Um, I can't say that I've ever worn this lipstick and haven't had somebody ask me what it is. Um, I absolutely love this colour. I haven't come across many other colours um, that are similar. If you guys can really see, it's just like a dark, browny, burgundy red kind of colour. But yeah, I absolutely love it and it is really flattering. Again, I think a lot, most people could wear it. Well, I don't see why you couldn't wear it. But yeah, I absolutely love it. Um... I think I've got more lipstick on my teeth than my lips throughout this video, but there you go. And I keep noticing that my bottom lip is a lot bigger than my top lip, but there you go. All these silly things that we notice about each, about each other. I think it's about I think it's a good job that I'm at the end of this video, don't you? Um, but yeah, so that is, I think, my favourite one. I do love the brighter colours, um, but I think I just love darker colours, especially if you've got like a bit more of a dramatic eye or more of a natural eye. Um, just love them. Just love them. And I love Heather's best dark red colour ever. Okay guys, so there you have it, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lip Collection. Um, I know some of the colours were the older colours, but I hope you still enjoyed it. Um, gave you a bit of a, more of an idea of all the colours and which ones to get and which ones are really similar. Um, but yeah, go and treat yourself to a new liquid lipstick. Maybe get one um, that you think, oh I don't know if I would wear that, because you'll probably surprise yourself. Um, and there are just some lush colours on there, so go and treat yourself, girls. And it's Valentine's Day, so what better time to uh, go and get yourself a pink or red lipstick, eh? Um, it's not like I haven't got enough of them. Maybe I need to add some more nudes. It's usually the other way around, isn't it? But yeah, maybe I should add some more nudes to my collection. Anyway, could babble on about lipsticks forever. 
Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. I'll try and not do the whole little geeky thing this time. Um, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye, guys.